five to one over Fortune, impressive fashion. Excuse me, six to one. And then he had a 9-3 win over Gwizdowski. And like you said, I think these guys have never competed in a match. Yeah, I tried to right? look it up, and I haven't seen where these two have competed. If you can find a place where uh, Tervel Delagna and Zach Ray wrestled against each other, please hit us up on the Twitter sphere, at Flow Wrestling. Yeah, so Ray was fourth at the U.S. Open. Tervel won it. They didn't meet up. Tervel de defeated Don Bradley in the finals of the U.S. Open while Fortune got third and Ray got fourth. Tables turned a little bit here. Don Bradley didn't even place in the challenge tournament as he was upset by Gwizdowski and then lost his subsequent match to Matt Milner's in the Conso semis. And again, Ray getting his crack at Treville. You know, they've obviously trained together quite a bit, training camps. You know, so they're familiar with each other, just haven't been on the big stage against each other yet. And until now, 47 seconds into this first period, nothing, nothing. And don't look for this to be a uh, huge blowout of a high-scoring affair. It could be, but I'm kind of thinking not. To probably, you know, uh, a little bit unconventional as a heavyweight. He likes to wrestle. And he said he hates it when he goes out there and he's competing against these heavyweights who don't want to wrestle. They want to stand around and... You know, wait for stuff to happen. Tavell shoots low singles. He shoots single legs. He shoots, you know, stuff you don't normally see a heavyweight do. Well, and he has one of my favorite stances. He, I mean, he's just so low for a heavyweight. And it, watch the drive of his legs. Just look how he's constantly driving. And they go passive red as he takes a shot. They got to hit somebody a minute and a half in. So it's going to be Tavell taking the first one. And. And he takes another shot from the outside. And this is actually how Ray was able to get past Fortune. He forced Fortune to, to take those shots and stay out of the upper body tie-ups that Fortune liked. And Terrell probably a little bit more seasoned, to say the least, in the uh, yeah, offensive oh, leg so. attack game than Fortune. But Ray, you know, we were talking earlier, he just likes to uh, sort of bide his time keep things slow paced. So that was a passive blue. So each guy been warned. And just like we saw earlier in Ramos first Hayes, who's going to pick up the pace a little bit more before the one minute mark? Yeah, and it looks like Ray's actually on the shot clock. 20 seconds oh, left that. on that shot clock. Thank you. It was, that was the second one. I got your back. You're the man, Richard. I love you. And 10 seconds before a point will be given up. Ray not overly uh, anxious to try to work for that point he's just essentially going to concede one to Travell and uh, potentially hope that he gets a chance to put Travell on the shot clock but yeah like you said before Travell's going to keep wrestling he's going to keep coming yeah no matter what Ray does And we've got 15 seconds left in this period. Looks like it's going to be one nothing at halftime. Yeah, Ray doing a good job keeping Travell off his legs. I'll, I will give him that. Haven't seen much offense going his way. We've seen Travell take uh, at least two shots, and it kind of looked like he was going high crotch to the back leg of Zach. And that'll do it. First period comes to a close. one nothing. Travell with the lead. And he sees Zach Ray over in the corner with Jeff Buxton on the right in the white shirt with the beard. And Lehigh head coach Pat Santoro on the other side. Here we see uh, Tervell with J.D. Bergman and Lou Roselli. Bergman offers him water. Tervell says, no, I'm good. The American Bulgarian, Tervell Delagnev. All right, we're underway again, second period. We'll see if Ray makes any adjustments, like we said. And it's his style not to attack, attack, attack. Right. And like we said earlier. He had know. a mean uh, high-level single against Gwizdowski. They'll hit it three, four times. Ran able to right get takedowns. Right? Yes. Spell kind of attacking from the outside. Ray stops. It goes front headlock on the feet. 30 seconds into the period. 
Yeah, I wonder if Ray's strategy is sort of to wear Travell out by getting him underneath there and taking all those shot attempts and pounce at the end. Could be. And there we go, kind of a knee pull action. Travell gets in deep and he's gonna score a takedown. And again, it was to that back leg, so he kind of starts off like a high crotch, but then he swings around like a knee pull, turns it into a head inside single. Scores the takedown and has a big reach and a big penetration step for Tavelle. And like we said, he likes to get in there and wrestle. And you just said, no matter what Ray does, Tavelle's going to continue to come forward, continue to attack. He does, and it pays off. Yeah, even now. I mean, it keeps, keeps Ray off his offensive game with Tavelle's constantly on. Doesn't give him an opportunity to get anything going. Yep. yep. Makes perfect sense. As we move down. Getting closer to the midway point of the second period, minute 39 to go. And we're right at 1.30 to go. Now, will Tavell shut it down a little bit and not take as many shots? I don't think so, he's got a three point gap. He'll, he'll try to stay out of the tie ups and avoid giving up a four, but I think he stays on his offense. I think it takes less attempts. Less attempts, but he'll stay pushing Active. the pace. He's controlling the center of the mat, even right now. He's the one driving with his legs. You are correct. Good observation. Sounded like a verbal warning, potentially, from the official. Yeah, Ray just seems like... He's saw, trying to solve a puzzle right now, and he just can't figure it out. He doesn't even have the pieces. He doesn't have the pieces. He's trying to get the outside, the border of it together right now. Yeah, it's tough. you got to find those corner pieces. 33 seconds to go. Tavel Delagnev up 3-0 over Zach Ray. Match number one, 125 kilos, world team trial finals. Two out of three. This one looking like it's going to go to Delagnev. Ten to go. And finally Here's a, a shot. shot. At the last second, an attempt by Ray and another go behind. Jarrell Delagnan tacks two more on. He will win this thing. Final score, five nothing. Delagnan one step closer to going back to the world championships, championships yet again. So we've got four matches down. 